Welcome to the Answers for Elders radio show. Meet the trusted experts who will give you straight answers and will help guide you on the path of later life care. Now, here's your host, founder, caregiver, and CEO, Suzanne Newman. And welcome back, everyone, to Answers for Elders radio network. And we are talking about the book, Successfully Navigating Your Parents' Senior Years with Star Bradbury and uh, Star, you have been so helpful talking about the whole process of what's our responsibility? How do we um, integrate ourselves in the path of helping to care for our loved ones and our senior li- loved ones primarily? And you come from this huge background of senior living, which I is do. a thing. Tell well, us I think that's what about- makes my, my book so unique. Yeah. A lot of books written on helping your parents are mm-hmm. more when they're already needing home care or home health yeah. care or, or caregiving role. And I am saying, listen, there are a lot of options out there that are so different than what you're imagining. And especially Absolutely. what your parents are imagining. Go and look at some of the options in, that communities can mm-hmm. offer because yeah. you might find something that is a better solution for them maximizing their independence mm-hmm. and staying independent for as long as possible. Yeah. Um, that doesn't involve necessarily aging in place. Right. And here's the beauty of having talking or reading Star's book is that you'll understand how they operate, how different um, senior living communities operate. And also in Answers for Elders, we have a decision guide that helps you with what are the questions you need to ask when you visit them, which is really important. So Dar, tell us a little bit about senior living options. Like it can be overwhelming, confusing. What advice do you have? It, it is overwhelming. And I think that you sort of start with where are your parents in this um, in this arc of aging? Mm-hmm. Um, because the time to really consider, uh, again, what the options are, are long before the need. Remember, mm-hmm. if you sat down with them before they officially retired and said, listen, next time you come visit me in Florida, um, are you at all interested in touring any of these fabulous retirement communities that are nearby here? Have you thought about maybe moving closer mm-hmm. to me or you can, having talked with your siblings, to John in Colorado? Yeah. Or, you know, do you really want to stay in Michigan all winter? Again? Mm-hmm. Uh, let's talk about what you, what's going to work for you guys. And for some of these communities, I can't stress this enough, there's a three to five year wait list. So you cannot just decide, I want to move into a la, la community because if they're really good and many of them are, and I'm talking there's a, about- There's a, often a waiting list. Yes, there's often a waiting list. You have to, you, they don't even call anybody unless no. you, you're on the waiting list. And so I tell people, I once worked with a couple who had deposits at five communities in five different states. Mm-hmm. And their kids were sprinkled all over the United States, which is also not unusual. And yep, they, they didn't unusual. know what they wanted. Mm-hmm. They just laid out their options. Yeah. So remember now, getting on a wait list is not making a decision. And these are low deposits that are fully refundable. Sure. And you could, And when I'm saying about communities, here's what I'm thinking about. Full service retirement communities, not just a independent living only. By full service, I mean communities that have uh, wonderful multiple dining options, housekeeping provided, Mm -hmm. all of your maintenance is taken care of, fabulous social and recreational activities, 24-hour security. And many of them, since they're for an older group of people, even though it's all independent, they have home care if you need it. Absolutely. Even have, lots of people would be happy to open up doctor's offices on the same campus. So it simplifies your life. Yeah. It keeps you from being isolated. Maybe you're tired of the maintenance on the house. Yeah. So yeah. I can't recommend full service retirement communities enough. Absolutely. Then a step up from that are life care communities. The longest chapter in my book. Why? Complex. Confusing. Yeah. The average person and large amount of money up front yes high entry fees up front that mm-hmm. really put people off however i'm a big fan of a life care communities having worked at one for 18 years and so i lay out the pros and the cons 
and help you understand the very basics mm -hmm, within mm -hmm. the industry of a life care community and why anybody would consider it. I'm a fan because it's the only model that has assisted living, memory care, and skilled nursing as part mm -hmm. of a guaranteed access contract. Right. But it's a lot. You have to, you know, you said- what also, you yeah, I'm I sorry, think a lot of life care communities or CCRCs, as we call them, um, they also can uh, are operated by communities of faith. And for those yeah, of yeah, us true. that have- um, you know, that are on Christian radio stations like we are, I think that's a, a very important to many people to be around people of faith. And so that's important as well. Well, and there's um, the Kendall communities founded by mm -hmm. the Quakers. There's John Knox villages. There's Westminster. And even though many, many years ago, they opened their doors to anybody of any faith. That's a great question to ask Absolutely. though when you're touring. And mm -hmm. you mentioned you have questions. I just want to let your listeners know on my website, I have a free list of questions, touring questions to ask if you're touring mm -hmm. assisted living or retirement communities or mm -hmm. life care communities, because believe me, I can't stress this enough. It's a learning curve you don't want to have to do in two days. You, it's not when you, you're having to make decisions under duress. Yeah. And this I think I think what you're saying, and just to summarize everything, is the fact that, you know, it's important to have a plan. If you have several siblings around, it's also good for mom and dad to say, hey, we're gonna go live with Mary um right. when we get to this point. And so the everybody can be on the same page. They already know what mom and dad's um, require, you know, requirements or desires are. Um, we already know who Mary's going to be the the durable healthcare power of right. attorney. Um, these things John's are all going to help place. pay the bills. Mm -hmm. Yes, and so everybody knows what who's gone first, who's on second, right? <laughs> <laughs> because I think this is the piece that you know everybody gets torn up. Yes. when things like this happen. And so obviously your book talks a lot about the preparation and the planning. And I could not just amazingly recommend this more to anyone and everyone. So Thank Star, you. how do we reach you and how do we get your book? Well, you can go straight to my website, which is www.starbradbury.com. Mm -hmm. there's a, a, a menus across the top and you can click on book and it'll give you every basic uh, book site link. Um, you can go to the resources and print out the questions to ask. And because it is November, National Family Caregivers Month, I am offering 35% off the list price of that book for the entire month. And if you go to my Facebook page, and I'm I, as soon as we hang up, I'm posting this on my professional senior living strategies and also my personal page that you can click on the link I'll provide, put in the coupon code caregiver, and then at checkout, it'll show you that 35% discount. And I, I want I wrote it to help people. I wrote it to be a guide. Fabulous. Thank you, Star, for You're being welcome. on this show. We're so thrilled. And we'll be right back right after this. Time to get back to Suzanne and more Answers for Elders. And I want to thank our guest again, Star Bradbury, author of Successfully Navigating Your Parents' Senior Years. Thanks again for being on the show, Star. And until next week, be good to each other. We at Answers for Elders thank you for listening. Did you know that you can discover hundreds of podcasts in our library on senior care? So visit our website and discover our decision guides that will help you also navigate decision making. Find us at AnswersForElders.com.